everybody seems to be into many twists these days and to be quite frank i'm into it too because it's one of those tested and proven protective styles i'm absolutely sure can take you from this to this in no time but it's also one of those styles that if not properly maintained or you lack proper information about it can cause your ends to look like this and this can be the very reason why many people do mini twists but never see any progress from them in today's video i'll share a secret well it's not really a secret because i did get it from my girl indigenous strands but anyways anyways i'll be sharing something that i promise you has the potential to keep your ends apart and this is the only time the only time we have the right to separate a marriage this union is not needed it is bad for lend retention Just before I show you how I use this secret remedy guys, hi, I'm gently separating my hair then I'll hydrate it and moisturize it. And you guys will eventually see this but I'll only be applying this remedy to my ends because my ends is the part that needs it the most. I don't need it all over my hair but you guys will see so just please keep watching. You guys might already know what I'll be using to moisturize my hair. It's my three simple products i don't think i even have to say but i'll just say it anyway it's water it's my hair butter and it's my moisture retention oil so after that here we go this is the secret remedy it is flaxseed gel you guys might have picked up on it when i said indigenous strands but if you didn't yeah it is flaxseed gel and that's what i'll be using on my ends to keep them separated now if you don't know what flaxseed gel is flaxseed gel is actually a gel that comes from flaxseed this is how flaxseeds look and the gel is very easy to make i'll show you an illustration right here to make it all i did was just to add some of the seeds to some water put it on the stove and just let it boil for a few minutes i think it was about 15 to 30 minutes and what i do to make sure that it's finished is to test the consistency it should be a thick slimy sticky consistency if you try it and it's still too runny or watery i think you need to leave it on just a little bit longer and like the name flaxy gel is a gel and the purpose or the reason why it's able to keep or end separated is because it holds each individual twist and sets it i don't even know if i'm you know describing this right but it's similar to our gel, a store-bought gel works. You put it on your hair and it keeps it set. So when the ends become set, it's hard for the individual strands to separate, become, you know, frizzy and just tangle together. Because if you notice, that's exactly what my hair was doing at the beginning of this video also just in case anyone wonders why i moisturize my hair first is because if you're going to use a gel whether it be flaxseed or any gel which i do recommend to use flaxseed instead of store-bought gel on your ends because flaxseed is more natural and it's less dry so i did moisturize my hair before adding the gel to my ends just so when it sets my hair sets moisturized if i was supposed to just put the gel on my ends without moisturizing my hair i would be setting it in a dry state so i hope you guys get what i mean
and as i'm doing this guys i want to let you guys know that this month june is officially the last month of our mini twist hair challenge i know i haven't been doing a lot of updates but i've still been wearing the mini twist and i've seen some progress so far it's not a huge amount of progress but it's something and i'm especially grateful for the back section of my head that was stuck at 17 inches it's now at 18 and a half so i know that my hair grew to some extent i plan to continue doing the mini twist challenge i'm not sure if you guys want to continue but i will continue up until the end of the year i think i might take a little break in between to do a high puff because i, I just cannot stay away from eye puffs for too long it, it's just too cute i can't there are times throughout the year where i just want to enjoy my hair a little not too much now but a little so i feel like the work i'm putting in is not in vain and there's something to enjoy at the end of every protective style So we're just about finished guys and I hope this video helped you out a lot because this technique is amazing. Thank you Indigenous Strands for sharing this with the internet because when you're on your mini twist journey things like this is just so helpful. Because as you guys know when your ends just keeps getting tangly and you know knotted you'll have to cut more and that's just not what we want because we're trying to go here as long as we can so i hope you guys try this out let me know if it works for you so far i'm enjoying it because my ends they are <laughs> currently separated and i don't feel bad because i know at the end of this protective style i'll have some more length <laughs> 